All right, so let's say you do not have any graph paper. Well, you actually don't need any as long as you have a ruler and a piece of paper. So we are using the rule that all the sides have to be the same length to our advantage. That's all we need to know. As long as all of the sides of the triangle are the same length, we will get the correct angles. So we don't need to worry about that. Now the first thing we need to do is, I think the easiest one is two and a half. So let's do that one. So you're gonna measure two and a half inches. So from this dot to, so from the edge of your paper to, so let's see here, here's zero, right? So two and a half, we're lining up two and a half. Being as precise as we can, there we go, two and a half. Now what is, um, so we're just gonna take it one triangle at a time. Okay, what is, we need to find the middle point between two and a half, okay? So that's one and a fourth, okay? One and a fourth, right? One fourth plus one fourth is a half, right? So one and a fourth times one and a fourth is one and a half. So in order for our line to be straight, we actually need to measure up here one and a fourth. Um, so it's here, one and a fourth is right there. Okay, and just do a baby line, baby dot, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna match up your ruler, so you have your dot over here. From here to here is one and a fourth, okay? And you're gonna line up your ruler so now we know that this whole piece is perfectly parallel to each other, going in one inch and a fourth. We're gonna do a dotted line so we don't get confused. So we're making a dotted line against our ruler. So it's kinda like we're making our own graph paper, but we're only using, we're only making the lines we need. All right, so now we have a dotted line. That is the middle of our triangle. That's where the peak or the tip of our triangle is going to rest. Knowing that we have to have a length of two and a half, okay? So I'm gonna put my two and a half mark right here. Here's my two and a half mark. I'm gonna line it up to my dot, and wherever that zero hits that line, right, is gonna be the peak of our, tri our triangle, okay? And then over here, let's double check. This should be two and a half too, right? Oh, that looks like maybe possibly we're a little too high. So maybe just make sure that we connect the dots at the lower end of that dot. Maybe I just need to, okay. So we have this side is two and a half. And this side is two and a half. Yep, that's pretty good. Now we have a triangle that is all two and a half on this side, right? Two and a half on this side, right? And 60 here, even though we didn't measure it, 60 here and 60 here. Okay, now how do we do another one? Well, we're gonna actually just do the exact same thing. So what we're gonna do is we, we can just take this dot and we can put our two and a half mark there. So two and a half on the ruler. So right here, right, two and a half. Okay, where's the zero at? So zero to two and a half. That makes, right, we're just measuring a line, two and a half inches. Okay, um, and then we need to make a mark at one and one fourth. Because we need to know where the middle of the triangle is. Now you might be saying, wait, how are we gonna make our line going up? Well, we're just gonna measure our from our middle line where we're gonna do our dotted line, right? So what we're gonna do is our middle line, from our middle line, it's gonna be three and three fourths. So three and three fourths from the edge of the paper. So we're gonna come up here, three and three fourths, make a dot, oh, make a dot. We're going to connect these two 
line uh, points with a dashed line. Just follow me step by step. If you need to pause the video so that you can finish one of the steps and then push play when you're done, right? All right, so now we have our middle line and our two points at the bottom. Now we just need the third point to our triangle. What's the length that needs to, what, what's the length of the sides? Yep, two and a half. So we need to connect two and a half to this and we need to get the zero onto our middle line. So zero's on the dotted line, two and a half is at the point at the bottom. See here, is that on the line? Yep, okay, make a line. Double check it over here, should be two and a half. Adjust if needed, two and a half. So two and a half inches, two and a half inches, and this bottom one is two and a half inches. Right? Awesome. All right, we gotta do, we're gonna keep going down the page. Let's do one more triangle together to make sure that we uh, have this solidified in our brain. So we're gonna make a mark where? We're gonna measure two and a half inches from this triangle, right? We need two and a half inches. So two and a half, two and a half, okay? We're gonna use these two points for the bottom of the triangle. We already have two points, now we need our third point, okay? Where's the third point gonna lie? Yep, in the middle of those two points, so one and a fourth. We're gonna make a mark at one and a fourth. Now in order for this line to be straight up, we need to make a mark to connect the two. So this mark is six inches and one fourth from this edge on this side. So I'm measuring from our middle point of our triangle to the edge. And then I'm gonna move my ruler up. Six and one fourth from the edge is where I need to make a dot. Six and one fourth. Okay, I'm gonna make a dot here. Now I'm going to line up my ruler and make a dotted line. Okay, and now I'm going to two and a half inches. So I'm gonna measure two and a half inches on my ruler. Where does the zero meet that middle line? Remember, it's at the bottom of the page is where your dot is, okay? So the zero meets about right there. Okay, zero on that. Okay, so two and a half right here. Okay, two and a half. Yep, on that dot, very good. Double checking all my measurements. All right, okay. So, yep, we have room for one more triangle, so let's do that together, actually. And I'll show you how to connect it into a truss in a second. All right, so doing this together, we're gonna measure two and a half inches. Okay. What's in the middle of two and a half? One and a fourth. Okay, and because this side is closer, I'm gonna measure from this side. Okay, so our one and one fourth dot is two and one fourth from the edge. So I'm gonna come up here, two and one fourth. Connect my two dots using a dotted line. Kind of have to press that ruler in so you don't. Okay, nice and dotted. Okay, and that will be the third point will be on this line. The third point to our triangle will be on this line. We need to make sure this side of the triangle is two and a half inches. Connect the dots, so where does that meet? Right there. Oops, my ruler accidentally uh, moved 
when I was making my line. So I'm going to erase that line. It should be pretty close, but let's double check. Two and a half, zero, there we go, there we go. Got to keep my ruler from moving. Okay, this line, or this dot, right? And this dot should be two and a half, very good. All right, so now we have four triangles. Now to make our truss bridge, right, we need it to be connected at the top. Oh, good. So you're gonna connect, so this dot, all these dots on the top of the triangles need to be connected. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is all lined up. Make sure I hold that down. So lining up my triangle tops, the top of the triangles, okay. And then I'm gonna draw one line all the way across to meet them all. All right, and that is our truss bridge. Now, this side is two and a half, this side is two and a half. Cool, right? Now measure, take your ruler and measure the top of this uh, upside down triangle. <gasps> what? It's two and a half as well. Cool, right? Math. Okay, that means even the upside down triangles are gonna be 60, 60, 60. And we planned it that way, that isn't luck. That's math. All right, um, get a piece of paper and a ruler and go step by step. Pause the video when needed. Good job, guys.